Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the GameStorm YouTube channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at GSPC3, just like we did with GSPC2 and GSPC1. This will be a complete system overview, so if you guys are thinking about purchasing this particular system at this particular price point, you guys can go ahead and have a look at this video and get to know and learn a little bit more about the parts and what we think of them. So let's go ahead and let's get straight into it. GSPC3 is sort of your average, like slightly more higher budget gaming build if you like because it has the AMD FX processor. It's going to be good enough for light moderate video editing as well as gaming such as Battlefield 4 medium to high settings thanks to our graphics card. As I previously mentioned, the processor for this build will be an AMD FX 6300 6 core processor at 3.5 GHz. You can overclock this processor if you feel like to in the future if you are prepared to fork out the money for an aftermarket cooler. However, for this particular build to meet the price point, we are going to be using a stock cooler on the processor. Stock cooler, the AMD stock coolers are actually pretty good. They're much better than the Intel included coolers. So we had no problems with putting this processor with a stock cooler. This particular build will, this particular processor will suit this build perfectly. The six cores will give you advanced gaming performance and will also help with light video editing. The motherboard for this build will be an ASUS M5A78L-M-USB3. This is a Micro ATX Socket AIM 3 Plus motherboard, perfect for this build. At only £48 thereabouts, you really can't go wrong with this motherboard. Rock solid stable, used this in a previous client build and it you can't go wrong. Also you get all the added features with, with it being an ASUS board. For the RAM in this build we are going for 8GB of Corsair DDR3 1600MHz RAM. Now this is the standard bog standard if you like Corsair RAM so you're gonna get your bog standard 1600 megahertz speed which is all you need for modern games and video editing today but over GSPC 1 you get the 8 gigabyte increased capacity so that will aid your gaming as well as your video editing other than that the 8 gigabyte stick is all you really need for everything it's gonna be rock-solid stable it's value RAM and it's made by Corsair so nice RAM sticks the storage drive for this build will be a Seagate Barracuda 1 terabyte 3.5 inch 72 RPM internal hard drive. Now this hard drive, I've recently put this into this build because there was a WD 1TB in there but since the WD 1TB has gone up so much in price for some reason, we decided to put the Seagate Barracuda in as Rob has one and he swears by it. Like GSPC1, we put this hard drive in because 7200RPM, it's not going to slow down and it's got 1TB of space so you're going to have endless amounts of space to store all your stuff. Very good all rounder. The graphics card for this build will be the ASUS GeForce GTX 750Ti 2GB. This is a considerable step up from the GTX 750 um, because the 750 only has one gigabyte of VRAM. We, I have actually currently used two GeForce GTX 750 Ti's in two builds, Joshi's and another client build. Now, I, I love the little card. It's so good considering how much it costs, only around about 115 to 116 pounds depending on where you look. It performs like a champ, overclocks pretty well, because, but because it's first generation Maxwell, it doesn't overclock as well as the second generation. But still, for a budget card, it really does cut the donut playing Battlefield 4 medium to high settings. So for the case, another one that is common that you've seen from GSPC1. Again, not my personal favourite for case, but considering it's only around about £19, it's a pretty good bargain. It's from Fractal, so you can rely on it being well made and having the removable PCIe slots that you can put back in if you don't need them. Good airflow and the such like, but as I highlighted in GSPC1, I don't personally like this case because I'm me. But for the budget that it comes in at, it is pretty good. The power supply for this build will be a Corsair Builder Series. 430 watt 80 plus bronze certified power supply. Now we've used this, I've used this in a client build not too long ago. Very good little power supply for only 40 quid thereabouts or around. 80 plus bronze so it's going to be supplying quality efficient power to your system as well as being very efficient with that 80 plus bronze rating. The last part for this build which you can feel free to get rid of if you do not want it but we put it in because most of our builds have is the Lighton IHAS 124-14 DVD slash CD writer. Good writer, we've used it in GSPC1 and I think in GSPC2 I will go back and check but at 11, um, around about £11, £9 if you look at PC World it is a very good deal for a bargain basement disk drive and it's all you really need so that pretty much wraps it up. So this light gaming PC slash light video editing PC comes in at only £402.32. Now in my opinion that's very good considering you get a 6 core processor and a GeForce GTX 750 Ti video card. Now 
I think this is a very good little build if you are looking to spend that sort of budget and uh, I hope you guys find this video informative. So if you did like this video you can help support our cause by visiting the links down below, liking our Facebook page and also if you like joining our support group. Also check the other links that may be down there, there we go. If you did like this video don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one.